What's up guys, Max Maxworks here, and today I wanted to film a little video on uh, a trade skill, basically. And that trade skill is project management. And whenever you're building uh, a big project that takes time over, you know, a couple weeks or even months or even years, uh, project management will make or break your build. And it's not something that I see talked about a lot in the industry, um, it's more of a more of a professional thing. But I think that it doesn't matter if you're building hot rods in your backyard or running a multi-billion dollar company, project management is generally what makes it or breaks it. And when I talk about that, what I'm really talking about is organization. How do you organize to use your time and your resources effectively? And so this little video is gonna be basically focused around project building, but uh, a lot of these skills um, I use in my professional life, I use it in my personal life and uh, they they basically keep me afloat with all of the all the crazy stuff that I do. Um, the other thing is just up front project management. Some people like me, I, I don't know if it's just uh, the way I was brought up or um, just kind of one of my natural skill sets. You know, I'm very good at managing things uh, in terms of time, in terms of effort, in terms of resources. But like uh, like work ethic, this is something that can be worked at. I, I, it doesn't matter if you're the most scatterbrained person on the planet. If you take some time and put some energy into learning how to properly manage projects, uh, it's something that anybody can get good at. Um, and so today I'm gonna talk about a couple of different things, um, a couple of different tools that I use and why they're important. Um, and hopefully this will lay the foundation for a lot of you guys uh, to be able to use this uh, in your own projects and in your own lives. Um, the first thing is the piece of cardboard. Everybody knows it, everybody's seen it. Uh, the Roadkill guys have made it famous. Um, the cardboard is really symbolic of one thing. It's symbolic of lists. And the only way to make sure you get everything done is to sit down and make a list. Um, a lot of people like the cardboard. Everyone's got some in the garage. Uh, it's a little more durable than paper and you can just kind of throw it on the dash and go through and check it off. The only real problem with the cardboard lists is if you're OCD like I am, it drives you up the wall because things aren't necessarily in order. You start crossing them out and then you're trying to figure out what's not crossed out. And so uh, like in the golf cart build, this is the third and final uh, piece of cardboard that I used. Not because I ran out of space, but because it just it got too hectic for me and I had to rewrite my list on a new piece of cardboard. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. This is an excellent organizational strategy. Uh, for car projects, things like that, where you just write everything down, you throw it on the dash, uh, and it's there when you need it. But in general, lists are important, and that kind of segues me into my next item, the thing that I love the most. Um, so, full warning, not a Microsoft fanboy, not even at all, but Microsoft OneNote is an amazing tool. Um, I use it for all of my projects. It allows you to build a whole bunch of lists and sort things and embed Excel sheets and images and whatnot. And for me, it's it's the number one, I would say tied for number one organizational tool that I use. And so on a project like the golf cart, you know, I'll make a list and one of the one of the keys in OneNote is if you hit control one, it'll create these little check boxes next to it instead of bullet points. And those are great because you can just check stuff off um, as you get it done. And you know when you're like, uh, for example, the boat that we did, right? So there was a section called electrical, and under there I wrote everything I could ever want to do on the boat that I thought was valuable uh, to do with electricity. Then engine, like every filter, every oil change, everything I had to change, I wrote in there, and so on and so forth. And then you know I would get up and say, okay, I'm going to work on the boat today. Uh, and I would go back to my list and I'd look and go, okay, well, these are the three things, three or four things I can accomplish today. I know I have the parts, I have the skill, I, I know what I'm doing, and just go and do it. And then I'll go and do it. And that helps you because you go back and you check those things off and things begin to shift in your list and you can see, okay, this is going to be a whole day on its own. And so then you can schedule for that. And so I love OneNote, all of my projects, all my big projects, the golf cart, the boat, the box truck, uh, the new project that we're starting here. Um, pretty soon, <clears throat> all of that lives in OneNote, and it allows me, it allows my OCD to be okay because as I check things off throughout the list, I move them to the bottom of that list. So I always keep them there so I know what I've done, but it allows me to move things that haven't been done up into uh, basically a higher priority. And what that is, is OneNote is basically the final evolution of the cardboard list, if you will. Um, and so, 
whenever, you know, when you see like uh, the guys on Roadkill, they use these. The thing is they do one project in a weekend or four days or something, right? Um, some of us have that luxury, some of us do not. And so for me, you know, I do projects over the course of weeks or months. And so this is really not the most effective way to do it. For me, the OneNote is because I can keep it in my Google Drive. I can access it at work. I can access it wherever I am. And, you know, if I have a few minutes, I just want to look through the list and kind of plan out my weekend, I can do that. So to me, OneNote is huge. And there are probably some other versions of OneNote um, available for, you know, Mac OS or open office type version for Linux, uh, I'm sure. But you guys can get kind of the tail of online and get the gist of what it does and how it works. And, and that's what keeps me alive. And the second thing that keeps me alive, this is time management, is Google Calendar. I live on my Google Calendar. And <clears throat> the reason that's important is because I will pencil in time to work on projects. Like they're just blocks in the Google Calendar, but if they're not there, I may not get to them because I may not remember that, oh, I need to go and do this, or oh, I need to go and do that, or oh, I need to go buy that. Um, because there's just so much stuff going on, you can't really keep track of everything. And so when I pencil in time on my calendar to work on projects, it also allows me to manage my time better with other things where I'm like, Oh, well, I was going to go do that. Oh, no, I had this weekend, I got to go and fix this thing on the boat, or I got to go fix that, or I got to go do whatever. And when it's penciled in on the calendar, I will actually get off of my ass and go and do it in that time frame. And it's also a very useful skill because you get better and better with it over time. Like initially, you'll be like, oh, I got to go and do project A, and you'll pencil in an hour, and then you'll learn that project A is really a four hour type thing, it's not a one hour type thing. So then, you know, later on down the road when you're building another project and you get into a similar situation, now you know that that procedure, that's not a one hour thing, that's a four hour thing. And so you can schedule your time appropriately to go and do that four hour thing. So kind of just to recap quickly, uh, project management is crucial for everybody. Anybody that works on, uh, you know, whether it's hot rods or boats or you build houses, it doesn't matter what you like to do. Project management makes or breaks big projects. When you when you hear about these crazy shops and builds that get done for SEMA, you know, they're like, yeah, those guys are really skilled and they're amazing fabricators and they're they're amazing paint guys and crazy mechanics that build amazing engines. But the the common thread that you'll find in every guy that has a SEMA show build is they have excellent project management skills or they got somebody who has excellent project management skills which is how you can take a car that is a rusted out shell basically you keep the roof and the trunk lit and build a jaw-dropping you know car in three months or three and a half months or whatever is because they know and manage every project every hour of every day for those 90 or 100 days because otherwise you never get it done you have to have peak level efficiency and project management or organization gives you that peak level efficiency. And so today we talked about the tools that get things like that done, you know, all the way from the basic cardboard cutout to OneNote, which I prefer, which is an electronic version, um, to having Google Calendar where you're blocking off time. And you know, these are the tools that I use. There's uh, plenty of free alternatives for OneNote. Um, there's a kajillion alternatives for Google Calendar. Um, that's, those are just the tools that I use I'm most comfortable with. Um, but you know, whether you use Outlook Calendar or fucking Yahoo Mail or whatever, it makes no, no real difference. What does make a difference is that you put in the time, you put in the energy to get good at this. Because once you get good at this, you will spend five minutes planning a project that will save you 50 hours over the course of a project. And I know that sounds dramatic, but it's really not because it allows you to get your purchasing in order because you know what parts you're gonna need because you know what projects you're gonna do. Uh, it allows you, so, so and they get delivered on time so you're not wasting time because you know like, hey, next week I gotta go do this and for that I need these parts. Boom, place the order, they're there in time, you can do the job. If it's something that you take the time to get good at, uh, you will find that in your personal life and every little project that you do, you start saving time. And when you save that time, you can go and waste that time on things like filming videos. So that's just kind of the, the brief MaxWorks overview of project management. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, uh, kind of uh, 
where I cover things that, that aren't just mechanical or just build projects or whatever. Let me know in the comments if you guys like this video, if you think there's something I should change about it. Because um, I wouldn't mind making a few more of these videos on these kind of talk to subjects. Um, but I, I'd like a little bit of feedback to make sure I'm going in the right direction uh, for my audience. Anyway, I'm Max. This is Max Works. Peace.